guys what's up it's Yami here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Eden. So in today's episode I want to show you some changes that I've made to my lovely world of Eden and they are really cool changes. So if you've noticed in my other episodes the water tended to glitch out and it looked really ugly and kind of made me mad a lot but I've managed to fix that now by messing about with the files and changing out a certain BFG dot file it was so complicated but I managed to do it so I'm happy with that now it's not gonna glitch again also in my barn there are a lot more animals than I remembered oh so these animals seem to have bred successfully there are a lot of sheep and a, a lot more pigs than I thought there were there's also Elizabeth and Natsu in there and I found out Elizabeth is actually a boy forget about that he can be a girl if he wants to be a girl okay there's no problem with that I moved Mr. Fluffers and Jamie away from the other goats because they were fighting each other and that could have ended badly. Let's get out of here and shut this because I don't want anybody getting in there and killing my animals. Right, so I also went downstairs and I don't know if some of you forgot that I actually had a basement room because I haven't been in it in that long but I do actually have a basement. It's down here and this is from the old house. We've got Emily and Dumbledore. Can you remember these guys? Because I can, it's just I haven't been down here in so long. And what I actually did is I sorted out all of the rooms into coordinated rooms. So in here is my gems and all storage, blocks and building items, food and cooking items, and animal items and just random things. Like this one for instance is, it's got a picture of a spider in it, and then inside has all the different spider items in it. So I've done this for all of them and it's pretty cool looking, I really really like it. Yeah, this is where all my items live. These are my eggs so far. Now I don't want to go back to the twilight world until I've got like a lot of eggs. So then I can get on making my treehouse zoo. But yeah, this is my awesome chess room. In today's episode, I wanted to make myself some hay bales. I don't actually know how you make these because I've never made them before. It's going to be interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, just loads of wheat. I think we can do that. I think that's going to be a great addition for the horses' stables. And that should be in food and cooking items if there is any. Although I'm not sure I have any. Oh, 46. That's good. Let's take these upstairs and we can also breed the animals with the leftover wheat. Plus we kind of need to do that as well if we're going to have a really big farm. How many can we make with this? Maybe we can't make that many. Maybe I was overestimating this. We have ourselves five hay bales. I don't think that's going to be enough somehow, but we can try it out and see if it's okay. If not, we'll just get some more wheat. So in one of the future episodes, we'll be able to do some cooking because I'm actually going to use this farm now because I haven't used it in a very long time. But yeah, I think we're going to start planting more stuff and then growing it because I think that would be a lot better. So here is my daughter, Jessica. She's got really big now. Actually, she might be the same size as me. She's basically the same size as me. If it wasn't for my massive ears, I think she'd be like the same size as me, but she's such a big girl now. Let's have a chat with her, or a high five. High five, and she says we're the best. A lot of you seem to be really concerned about my animals, but if you look in here, Milo and Cookie Crumbs have already been fed. They're not even anymore, not yet, because they're really greedy and I've literally only just fed them. All is well with the animals, don't worry about them. I do look after them just off camera because I don't want to have every episode just about feeding animals. Imagine how boring that would be. So here we have our horses and we can put the hay bales in there with them. So there we go, the horses pens. They'll probably be able to jump over that. that oh, yep, already starting to do it, already starting to jump over. Is there a way that I can do this without them jumping out? No, the, the horse is going to get out either way. I guess it doesn't really matter because where are they going to go? Nowhere far. Now that that's done, it looks like it is night time and I don't know if I've got a familiar on. Yeah, I got my ocelot on, but I want to change to Rana. I don't know how to say that, but let's change to her because I really like the fact that you can jump really high. Oh dear, there is a zomble. They seem to want to get into my house a lot. I don't know what's up there that interests them that much. Probably my daughter, as we all know, my last child died by zombie and I accidentally slayed her. I didn't know you could bring villagers back. That was awkward. Let's have a look at some stuff that we can possibly make for the barn. I think there is a lot that we can make, so I want to have a look at that. Okay, so something that I'd really, really like to make for my farm is some barrels. I think they'd look really cool in there. And to do that, I just need wood and iron. Now, I think I actually have wood and iron. So if we head downstairs into our awesome 
chest room. I'll be able to find that. And I have some wood. I know I have lots of wood. Here we are, gems and ores. Oh, oh, how did you get in here? Eee! Well, that was weird, okay. In here, yes, we have some iron, excellent. So here we are at the almighty crafting table. Let's make a barrel, see if this actually works first. Yay, a barrel! So there we go, we definitely need to go out and get some more iron. I think that is a must do. Oh, Mr. Fluffers has got out. Oh well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So let's put a barrel back here. I think these just look really cool. Maybe one in the chicken pan. And then we'll put one upstairs as well. Oh, just as I expected. They have gotten out. Oh well. Oh, we'll put a barrel here. There we go. I really like the look of these barrels. They are awesome. So the next thing I want to get working on is a table for the dining room because I don't have one yet. And my favorite tables to make are these sort of tables, which, oh, I will show you how to make. It's slabs and wood, so it's really, really simple to make. And so let's go and make one. All I need to do is make some slabs. Now that I've done that, I can make tables. And this is what the tables look like. I don't know if I want to make more tables than this. Probably will do, but I think this is okay for now. Unless I want to make some sort of picnic bench. Hmm. I'm not sure if a picnic bench would look better or a table. Let's have a look at how you make these. I really don't know. Should we make both and then uh, decide which is better? I think that's probably the best idea. I will let you guys vote on which is better. Let's go get some apples and then we can begin making the picnic table. Oh. Oh, oh dear. What have I done? <laughs> oh, oh, and I broke the apple tree. Okay, so now that I've made the table, let's put it down here and see what it looks like. So this is the first choice, just a normal, nice looking table. Now let's go make the picnic table to see what that looks like. So now I've got all the parts to a picnic table. Maybe I could just make one more centerpiece. So here we go, I've got the picnic table here and then the table. I'm going to just make some chairs for the table because it kind of looks out of place and very, very small. So let's go make some chairs for that. So to make chairs, all I need is three wooden pieces and also some sticks. So let's do that now. I think that's pretty easy to make. Oh, I already have some sticks actually, so that's handy. And we're going to make four chairs. So here we are, we have four chairs. There is our table. We could maybe add two more chairs on the end there. I'm not really sure, it's up to you guys. So guys, can you leave a vote in the comment section? What do you like better? Do you like the normal table and chairs or do you like the picnic table? I'm quite liking both, so this is a very hard decision for me. Let me know because in the next episode what we'll be doing is we'll be making some nice pretty things to put on the tables and also we'll be decorating the kitchen because you can make stuff like cookie jars turkey cookies oh my gosh there's just so much you can make and there's also stuff for the table such as a cup of tea and some plates and stuff that i really want to make so guys if you can let me know in the comment section what table you like the best that would really really help me out also make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one bye